My name is Dr. Phillips. I'm from the Science Zone. And I'm Krista Johnston. I am with the City of Casper Sewer and Stormwater Department. Today we're going to do an experiment. Toilet paper is a little bit of a short supply here in Casper. And we want to know what happens if you wipe with a paper towel, a Kleenex, or a baby wipe. These jars simulate our pipes. We're gonna find out if these different items dissolve. Well, since we're doing a science experiment, we want to include a good control. So all of our materials are about the same size. Ready, Krista? Yes. All right, let's flush. So Krista, when we put this lid on and we shake it, what is that similar to? So this is similar to us flushing the toilet and the material passing through our sewer systems. Oh, well what happens if too much material gets into our sewer systems? Too much material that's bad can lead to sewer backups and what happens then is the sewage goes into somebody's basement which nobody wants. Ooh, that sounds not fun. All right, I'm gonna shake toilet paper. And this is facial tissue. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow, that toilet paper is dissolving. And nothing happened to the facial tissue. Oh, all right. Let's try this flushable wipe. I'm gonna try a paper towel. The paper towel is still solid. Same with the flushable wipe. Oh, wow. But look. I don't think I can take this toilet paper out. It's dissolved. With that paper towel, it's the same as it went in. The Kleenex, same. What happened to the flushable wipe? You know, you could probably reuse this even. You could. So what we see here is that our toilet paper dissolved and what that allows it to do is pass through the sewer systems without leading to a sewage backup and nobody wants a sewage backup. So if you do have to use one of these other products because the toilet paper uh, has run out, please put it in the trash. So that's what you mean when you say no wipes in the pipes? Absolutely. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye.